In this video I'm going to be checking the RMS power output of the Sharp GF555 boombox since lately I've been curious as to how much power the equipment I've been working on puts out. Um, what I am going to do is feed a signal into the line in jacks in the back and for that I am going to use the HP 3325 um, function generator I'm going to feed in a 1000 Hertz sine wave and here you can see I have a dummy load hooked up to the um, boombox I took the, uh, there's the jacks right there for the external speakers. And I think you can hook up, as far as speakers go, from 4 to 8 ohms. And what I'm doing now is I've got my, my dummy load in the 8 ohm position. I have the oscilloscope hooked up across the, here across the speaker terminals. And... <clears throat> I've got, as far as the boombox itself is concerned, I've got it in the line-in position. I also have the bass and treble in the neutral position. <clears throat> I've got my the volume control of the <clears throat> boombox turned all the way up, and I have the balance control in the midway position. And right now I'm feeding in 60 millivolts. And I don't think that's going to be anywhere enough, so I am going to increase here. Well, here I'm slowly bringing it up. I'm up to 170 millivolts. And I'm going up, increasing. I've got the scope, which is a tech 2235 I've got in the um, five bolts per division setting so I will continue to increase here now it's starting to clip so I'm going to go down a little bit right there and what I am reading now is about um, let me see. Looks like 12 volts peak to peak. Um, now if I just feed in the signal into one channel, I'm getting about 16 volts peak to peak. Now let me do the math on all of this. So doing the math gave me, I believe it was 12 volts. 12 volts peak to peak. And if I divide that by Two. That gives me the center of the peak voltage, and then I times that by 0 0.707. That gives me the RMS voltage. Then I t I basically square that. I times it by itself. Times 4.242. That gave me 17.99. And I divide that by my load, which is 8, eight ohms, divided by 8. And they gave me 2.249, basically 2.25 um, watts per channel, both channels driven with an 8 ohm load. Now, if I were to drive just one channel, I believe that was 16 volts peak to peak. And I'm going to divide that by 2, gives me my center peak voltage, then times 0 0.707. That gives me my um, RMS voltage, and then I times that by itself, 5.7. 
that gives me 31.99 then I'm going to divide that by my 8 ohm load which gives me 3.99 basically 4 watts per channel RMS if I'm only driving one channel and again um, if I drove both channels at the same time I believe it was 2.25 watts at least that's my that's my result.